Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we're here. This is going to be week number 10, I believe, of the AP Academy and we're here up against mid Pokemaster. Now, we're going to play him for a battle in the NCP coming out in the same weekend. So this is going to be really stressful to play header for me, but this is going to be the second match of our double header. So this is going to be stressful. This is pretty much a case where if we win this match, we're in playoffs, guaranteed. If we lose this, there's 0% chance we make it into playoffs. So this is the final match to be played in the entire APA season. There is one slot for a team with a losing record. I'm taking a screenshot of the team right now. We will see the GMAX Melmetal, the Kiram, Verizian, uh, Seismitoad, Sylveon, and Galvantula. So, what does that mean? Um, I might have lost my APA tab, and I really don't want to waste time because I always am super duper late in terms of getting my my picks in on time. Okay. Uh, so leaves behind Runarigus, which is huge. No Zatu, no Heatmore, no Skuntank. Okay. Okay, no Zatu is actually really interesting to me. I think I want to... I think I want to... Lead off with a Rotom? I don't know. I think he leads off... I kind of want to lead off with a Rotom. Only because I think you might want to lead off with... Well, no, I'm going to lead off with Dranva. I think he either wants to lead off with... Um, what is that thing called? Um, Galvantula or the Seismitoad. And I think it covers my bases either way. Um, I think that's the way that I'm going to want to play this, right? Because Drampa can hit the Seismitoad really hard, and re but realistically, if I do see the Araquanid, then I might want to just switch out... I don't know. Leads off with the Verizian. Okay, this is huge. I think I can... Okay, if I can land a Hurricane, then I think I can get a huge lead in this matchup. I think he expects me to, lead, to want to lead off with a Mudsdale, but I've never... I don't, I don't think I've ever clicked turn one rocks in my lifetime of playing this game. So, I think I want to get off this Hurricane. I'm going to try it. I'm going to see. This, we're Assault Vested Trampa. Um, and I know he likes to build... Goes for a close combat. Can we take one? Can we take one? No, we don't. Okay, that's bad. That's really, really bad. That's aggressively really bad. Okay. I don't know what to do at this point. I, I know he really likes his... I know he really likes his special Verizians. And most Verizians I've seen are special. But he just didn't really care that much, I guess. About how this ended up. Verizian. Super offensive Verizian. If I go into Serena and try to... I mean, I, I mean, if I go into Serena, then I threaten play rough, and I think he has to respect that. Um, but yeah, close combat does a lot of damage. I think adamant close combat actually just threatens a KO here. Oh, but that, but that, but that assumes life warp. I, I mean, this thing could be banded for all I know. I'm gonna click U-turn. I think he's gonna expect the play rough coming in, and I think he's going to respect a, def a defensive Serena enough that I think it's gonna prompt a switch out. And honestly, this thing could be scarfed. It could be banded. He has a lot of. Um, different sets that Verizian can run. Um, I guess Bandit makes sense, but I really thought, I mean, especially against my team, I really thought that Special Verizian just makes sense here. I mean, with the, with the Mudsdale, with the, with the Melmetal, goes into Sylveon, um, Play Rough would have done a decent amount to this. Um... Play rough to a max HP. Yeah, it would have missed out on being a 2 KO. But it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. I think we can... I mean, honestly, I think we can go into... I think I can go into... Melmetal here. Can I go into Melmetal here? I think I have to. I'm going to go into Melmetal here. <laughs> we'll see. This thing can absolutely mystical fire me. And that would be pretty bad, but at the same time, it'd be pretty bad. I should have probably gone in, gone in a Rotom. Rotom would have been an infinite, an infinitely better play here. However, coming here now, mm, maybe I should just go in a Rotom. I think I'm just gonna go in a Rotom. If this is, yeah, if 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 we draws, then it looks, then it's gonna look like a super baller play on my part. It goes into Seismitoad, which is really bad. That's pretty bad. So we'll get rocks up. We'll definitely get rocks up. But I think I can sub up on the rocks. And I think... 
This is my best opportunity for just defogging in general. Oh, I think I changed my set at the last second. I did. I definitely did. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go back in it. Go back into this thing. I think rocks is a, is a definite possibility, but I don't think I can risk taking much damage onto my Rotom. Yeah, I think he's gonna try to hazard stack me between the Galvantula and the and this thing. So. It's going to put me in a tough spot for this first bit of the battle, but I do think that we'll be in a decent spot later on. We'll switch out. Goes into Sylveon. This will be a, a 2 KO, I believe, just based off of the uh, calc that I looked at with, with uh, yeah, just to, based on the calc that I looked at with the other thing. But ultimately... I really think I just go hard into Rotom here. I think he definitely wants to go out into Verzian. And I think the only way that, that, that Verzian is going to be able to hit me is, is um, what a, it can close combat. Yeah, so this was not a good play. I'm not playing well, I don't think. But I'm just so thrown off by the, pretty much everything that I'm, that, that I was thinking in my head is not going well for me because of that. I still have special version in my head, and I'm still thinking about goes into Kiram. Okay, that's really interesting. So this thing can't really hurt me unless it goes for Draco, and if he goes for the Draco, then I obviously have the Grim Snarl. But this thing cannot touch me unless it goes for the Draco, hard Draco. Could I... Would he go for the Draco right now? I think the way that he's playing this... I th yeah, I think he has no real reason to, to play this in a in a particularly scared way. I think he could just stay in and make risks. So we're just going to do this. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, it, it, it was really the only way that he had to hit me. So I think, I mean, obviously I can, hmm. I think he has to respect the, the fairy move. But I also think, I really want to just Dynamax and click Dark Pulse. I'm gonna go, yeah. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens. I think he goes into Melmetal here, and I think this was probably, like, not the best play, but we'll see. Goes into Galvantula. Okay. Okay. So, at the very least, we can get some KOs and start to make some things happen, because I don't like just how behind I am right now. It's really off-putting just how behind I am right now. Uh... So we're going to figure something out, but I don't like this. Um, will this KO? I don't think it will. Yeah. My Grimmsnarl's attack is very much based off of me being able to get a, get a nasty plot up. But now I can G-Max snooze reasonably safely. I would be amazed if he goes into in Versian now, expecting me to switch up moves for no reason. Um, the more likely play would be he switches out into Melmetal, expecting me to switch up moves. Or, use the same move, I should say. And I don't know, if the Melmetal does come in, goes for the Sticky Web. Yeah, I think that's totally fine, for right now. As long as I can KO this. Yeah. I think Rotom can still defog. If nothing else, I can burn Rotom's defog on... G-Max Momental, which sucks, because I think Rotom still has a lot of value here. Actually, does it? Rotom had a lot of value with a lot of very specific um, ideas that I had, but the fact that he brought this particular team means that Rotom has a much harder time doing what he needs to do. I think 
I think I can max guard just to waste a turn, and then because I don't, I, I think this G max news damage is going to be negligible, and I don't think I can really risk my Grimmsnarl, especially when it's the best way to hit, of hitting the Seismitoad. So if anything, I think what I should do is get this max guard off, and then go directly into the Mudsdale. And honestly, okay, so me being really afraid of G max metal was, oh, that's a Dy that's a Dynamax Mel metal. I mean, I guess that's fine. That's actually really not because he's gonna get so many defense boosts on on uh, Steel Spike, and that's, it's not great, but I guess we can manage it, I don't know. I don't know, regardless of what happens, I can try to make some things happen. I, okay, so so my Mudsdale is a very awkward Melmetal, not my, um, Mudsdale, it's a very awkward Mudsdale set. But it's basically because, but it's basically because I really wanted to fit, um, to fit Iron Defense on this. Uh, he's asking me what we want to do. I just said let, let, let's just play it because I really would rather just play it. Uh, he, he's saying, "Are you sure?" And I'm saying, "Not really," but uh, we're gonna run out of time regardless. So I, I, I really would rather not win on him. Kind of getting, um, yeah. Again, the only thing that super duper sucks is that he is going to be able to to uh, get defense boost off of this, but yikes, that's a lot of damage. Why is that so much damage? How is that so much damage? I'm like, gosh dang, Mudsdale. Although that really, that super aggressively sucks in terms of... I really don't know what to do because with the webs, he outspeeds me. Can I take... Can I take a max steel spike with... Ro yeah, I can, it looks like. Yeah, so I might just do that right now. Okay. Because if I can take one, then I can... Get a sub up, max hailstorm. Okay, that's very interesting. Um, then I can get a sub up, and I can get a defog off, which is going to really be the only thing that gives me the a really solid chance of winning out the rest of this matchup. Oh, the hail sucks. All right, yeah, the hail sucks. And I know he's going to want to switch out probably into the Seismitoad because he probably expects the Will-O-Wisp coming but I also think Defog has a lot of merit here so I'm gonna Defog expecting the Seismitoad to come in yeah there's a the Seismitoad but the more important thing is that webs are up on the field are off the field and the Galvantula is out of the way so I don't 1,000% know what that means. I, I guess it means... I guess it means he can get rocks up again. And it means that I could... Go out into... It means I can go out into... Um... Grim Snarl. And I can try. I can certainly try to get a nasty pot up. But I don't think I take a... Well, I don't take a Specs Flash Cannon. I'll just go straight up for the Skull. I would ideally not, like, get burned, but I get burned. Okay. Um... Hmm. I 
do I still take a flash cannon? He switched out, which makes me think that, that he would be Spax. Uh, I, sh I should probably just Dream Kiss now, just to get HP back, because I really need the HP. I really need the HP back. He's gonna want to go into Kiram. Yeah, okay. I think I I think I just have to figure something out here. Does we draw the seismic Do we see the Kiram? No, we see the Melmetal. So I could have gotten a nasty plot up. I could have gotten a nasty plot up, and if I did. Then Dark Pulse does only around half. So I think it's okay, but it's not good. I think I, I mean I probably go into my own Melmetal, metal, right? For my own Melmetal, metal, I can get a I can get a sub up. I can toxic the seismitoad coming in. And it makes it an easier time for my Mel Metal or for my Rotom. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know. If it, what could it draw in that would be really bad for me? Either way, I'm gonna try to sub up. My time is not doing great. I'm gonna try to play faster. I expect Seismic Toad. Yeah. So I can at least get a Toxic off on the Seismic Toad. Um. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to burn the Shaco Berry on an Earthquake coming in. Which really sucks. IMO. TBH. IRL. But. I guess I just can't do anything about that. I really wanted to save the Shaco Berry for... Oh, does it not happen on a sub? Because that's huge. That's huge, if that's the case. So now, that this thing is toxic. Um... It would theoretically allow me to go into. It would theoretically allow me to go into. Uh, I think I just go into this. I, I was gonna say it does theoretically leave me, op leave me open to going into Rotom, but I think he, I think he predicts this and goes for Scald right now. And if he's Scald burns my my Serena, then I'd cry. I think I'd quit. I think I'd quit. I don't know. I that'd be pretty worst case scenario. It goes for Rocks again. No, I think I just have to U-turn. I think I just have to U-turn. I'm at the point... I'm going to be near the point soon where I can... really start to click play rough. Although, I'm definitely not there yet. But I'm going to click U-turn regardless. The fact that I get to keep my... The fact that I get to keep my... Chuckleberry is kind of huge for right now. But... Um, actually, I really don't want to be wrong about this, but... 157 divided by 4. I take 39 points of damage on, on rocks, okay. I think I go into here. I don't even remember if I got rock. No, I, n I never got to get rocks up because um, Steel Spike did so much damage to me. Also, this is definitely an adamant, an adamant boy. What I can do is sub. What I can do is sub because I think, I think, um, I think even behind a sub, I get the stamina boosts. I think even behind this up, I get the stamina boosts. So we're gonna put that to the test. But just just go for the ice punch. We're gonna see it. It, it. it doesn't, I guess, really matter because uh, I just get really. No, I don't get the stamina boost, which does suck because I thought he might try to double iron bash me. I guess I just go for the body press here. Hope to deal some damage. And I guess give up on rocks. I guess I have to. Giving up on rocks is real bad right now, but I guess I just do it. Getting damage off on the Melmetal means... 
potentially I can beat it with Grimmsnarl if Grimmsnarl gets to plus two. But it's not gonna get to plus two. <laughs> yeah, that might have been just a really bad play on my part. I think. Yeah. Part of me thinks that I should have just gone into. No, mm, that's not that's not really a good play. I also probably should, should just Will O Wisp here. I also probably should just Will O Wisp here. What's the rest? Of, what's left on my team? Rocks don't matter a whole heck of a lot. He has to fear the overheat, right? I guess I could defog. He, he has to. He really does have to fear the overheat. So maybe a volt switch. No, I can just go for the defog. Mm. This is a rough spot to be in. I really don't think I have any openings to win anymore. Which sucks to say and think and feel. But I don't see. Oh, wait, yeah, I don't see, like, a light here that I can work towards. The only way... I mean, obviously, Serena can do this. Serena can do this if the Kyurem is out of the way. Honestly, the biggest thing might be the Kyurem right now. And... If that's the case... If that's the case, if I do this again, right? Because I did this last time, right? Um, I think I made him fear the power whip. So if I do this again, then I can potentially, um, I'm surprised he clicks all, honestly. But if I do this again, then I can nasty plot him now as he goes into Melmetal, right? Obvious problem, and then. I should KO with Dark Pulse. Every indication is that I KO with Dark Pulse. And I think that's going to be really my own, the, the only chance left for my... For my... Or I guess I just do a KO with, with Dark Pulse as well. And it covers really anything that, that I would want to switch in here. But if I Nasty Plot... I don't know. We can, we can go for it. If I Nasty Plot, then it might honestly force force the Kyurem's hand to want to come in and try to flash cannon me and if it does that then that would allow my my Melmetal to come in and I think I, I, th I think I'm playing under the assumption that, that the Kyurem is in some way choice I think it's specs honestly that's my operating assumption I think it's specs and I mean, I hope I'd KO with Dark Pulse. We'll, we'll, we'll just see. I think it's in range. Yeah, that's fine. So now, we KO'd something, which is important. Still no rocks, which is important. And there's so many things that I just don't beat. In comes the bruising. I think that's fine. I, I would I would love to see the Verizian Swords Dance up right now, honestly. Or, or like, bulk up or whatever. Goes for Leap Blade. I think that's fine. Uh, I think this Verizian just beats me now at this point. I have to... Okay. Is there a way that Play Rough is a super dubious KO, but it's my best chance here. I mean, I can always U-turn, sack off Rotom, and then come back in with Play Rough. That's a possibility as well. I think that might be how I play this. I can U-turn, sack Rotom. Yeah, because Rotom has done its job at this point. And the big problem is going to be the Seismitoad, right? The Seismitoad... Goes into Sylveon. I mean, that's interesting to me. But.
Um, I guess realistically, it allows my mail metal to come in. Oh, I'm a really especially defensive mel metal, so I actually eat up a mystical, mystical fire. But it's not the issue. The biggest issue is the seismitoad. I don't know how strong the seismitoad is. I have no idea how strong the seismitoad is. At this point, I just try. At this point, I, I invite in the Seismitoad, but it doesn't matter, because as long as I can keep the Seismitoad weak, then something happens. Goes, goes for the Baton Pass. That's fine. I think... I guess it's fine. Seismitoad is the obvious play. And it's probably just super defensive. I guess I can... I, I guess I'll be able to tell, based off of this, just how strong the Seismitoad is. That was a crit. So th yeah, this is pretty much re as especially defense or as physical, def as physically defensive as a seismic can be. So what I can also do is I can try to hit this thing with rock tomb, and then I eat up a hit with with shuckleberry, and then I double iron bash. And then that might be all the pieces that Serena needs to hit, to Oko everything with Play Rob. I mean, obviously... Oh, goes for the Scald. Mm. Please don't... Mm. Why did everything have to get burned? But we do get the Rock Tomb off. And, and honestly, I, I don't even think Serena beats the Kirim. I don't even think Serena beats the Kirim. No, it's nowhere near. No, uh, a single player rock is nowhere near KOing the Kiram. I think I just, at this point, just go into Rotom here. I think. Okay, so here's the thing, right? I think I, I think he scalded it, assuming that the that the Rotom would want to come in, right? And I think I can force him to go for her, for the power this turn. I did. Okay, that's awesome, dope, awesome, fun fact. Okay, not really fun fact. I don't know what I'm saying. So now, if, if. If, 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 if. The Seismitoad can go down soonish. Man, if I can get enough HP for a sub, I can't. But if I could get enough HP for a sub, then I'd be over the moon right now. I'd be over the moon right now, but I can't. So here's the thing, right? If. If. I could. Get this Seismitoad. Or no, he doesn't know that I'm Shaco Bear yet. So if I can ever orchestrate a situation where I can bait in the Kiram, and then I can bring in Melmetal as like a sack, let's say. And oh, please don't burn me, please. For the love of Christ. There. Nope, there, that's every single chance that I had. All right. I'm just going to say GG, man. Because there's literally no chance anymore. I'm just, I just am out of options. So here's the thing, right? If... If I could somehow bait the the Kiram into Earth Powering into my Melmetal, my, I should be able to take one. I should be able to take one Earth Power, and then I'm at the point where where Double Iron Bash can do a lot of damage. It, it probably doesn't KO anymore because I'm burned, but it does a whole lot of damage. Goes for the South Rocks, that's fine. It probably doesn't KO anymore because I'm burned. But the bigger point is that um, it's damaged enough where it looks like I can KO it with Play Rough. And then I, I, I need a, a good roll on Play Rough with Versian. And Sylveon is weak enough where I think I can KO it with Play Rough as well. That was my entire game plan right there. Now, obviously, the way that this played out, the better play would have just been to sack Rotom there. If I just sack Rotom, everything would have been fine. I think. Well, everything would have still maybe gone according to plan, right? So if I sack the, if I sack the Rotom, 
Then I go into Serena. I click U-turn. I go into Mel Metal. I don't know. I'd have to, I, would, I would still have to figure out a way that I can force in the Kiram to try to Earth Power my my Mel Metal. But I that was my that was my way to try to make it happen. I just will it was here. Maybe maybe it goes for Swords Dance. He has to click close combat. Um, that's fine. So, I don't know. I guess... The the only thing that I've left... Well, no. Because Mystical Fire always KOs me. I was going to say, the only thing that I've left is maybe I could do it in reverse. Or basically, this thing has taken a round of... Of... Close combat drops. So, if... If I could somehow KO here, then then I could still get some damage onto the Kiram. And then if it's Last Mon Kiram that, that's forced to go for the Earth Power, then you know, it, it doesn't matter anymore. By the by the looks of that roll, it looks like I would have KO'd with with um with a non-burned hit, but it's fine. Ugh, I let the Seismitoad burn too many things. I don't know, man. I I definitely could have played that better. The Steel Spike threw me off. I was very distracted for, for a decent amount of that, but there's really nothing I could have done other than what I did, I don't think. But yeah, obviously... Oh, oh and... And I think the fact that I was freaking out at how little damage I, the body press did to the Mel Metal was because um, was because of those max steel spikes. But I guess it didn't end up mattering the most. I tried. Obviously, if the Verzion was special, that's what the Drampa was for. Drampa really could have made a lot of things happen if I could deal with the Verzion. It opens the door up so much for... Things like Serena, even Melmetal. I mean, even Melmetal. The way that um, a lot of that happened. Obviously, the Drampa was, was was super unfortunate, and then just getting everything burned just completely shut down every chance that I had. Ultimately, it came down for me prepping for the wrong types of mods. Like obviously, the special version not coming was bad, and then me getting kind of flustered after that steel spike from the G Max Melmetal uh, really threw me in a way that I didn't expect, but. That's just going to be how it goes. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will be back really, really soon with more weeks of the NCP. Unfortunately, no more weeks of the AP Academy and more weeks of the TVL. I'll be trying to look for other leagues. I'll be on the hunt right now. But with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll be once again out.